Hi everyone, Dr. Robbins here. Uh, in our first class, we're going to be talking about what innovation is or is not, uh, the all-important why question around innovation, and I'd like you to look at these slides from that perspective. There's a worksheet uh, posted in the folder for today that you can print out and use to go through the slides um, and bring with you to class. Uh, the slides are numbered, as you see down here. Um, there are 25 images uh, that are, uh, there are spaces for you to um, give your answers on your worksheet. Uh, basically, you're being asked to say, is this an innovation or not? Why or why not? And also, what is the innovation? Because that can actually be hard to identify. Um, Fill it out quickly. The slides are actually timed to advance on their own after a couple of seconds. And, uh, and, on, and do it yourself um, on your own. The general idea is to get your kind of intuitive and your, even your personal view of what innovation is uh, in order to kind of see what we already know. Uh, this is not a test. So use your own judgment, your own reasoning, um, because the key to innovation is to be able to back up what you decide uh, using your own judgment and not someone else's. So uh, the slides, as I said, are going to advance automatically without any comment from me, except in a couple of places where a few of them are kind of hard to identify what they are, so I'm just going to tell you. Um, in general, though, I want you to interpret what you see as narrowly or as broadly as you choose and uh, to begin uh, thinking about how uh, things that we conceive of as objects are tied very closely to purpose and effect. So pick up your pen and we're going to get started. is gunpowder. This is considered to be the first true photograph.
a famous photo. And this extra just for fun, uh, sliced bread. It took until 1928 for someone to think about the fact that you could actually sell bread sliced, even though bread has been around since ancient times and the Industrial Revolution had begun in the last century. We still say today, when something is novel, really cool, and really useful, that is the greatest thing since sliced bread. So uh, go back, rank order your um, top five and your reasons, and come prepared to argue about it. And um, think about whether you see any relationships among these things, and also about uh, start thinking about what we call the chicken and egg problem in innovation, which will give a much more technical name uh, later on in the course.